crypto market update we're having a very red day in the crypto markets today we have been having good times in the markets in the last one week and the last one month but right now it seems the market is taking a chill pill important stories happening in the crypto world binance liquidates entire ftx token holding after recent revelations bitcoin still trading around twenty thousand dollars are we going to dump to goblin town we'll be taking a look at the ethereum us dollar price chart currently ethereum is trading around one thousand five hundred and eighty four dollars we'll also be looking at other news stories happening in the crypto world where is the market heading in the coming weeks we'll be taking a look at the total crypto market cap we'll be talking about that and more in this video but first guys when it comes to investing nothing will pay off more than educating yourself if you want to make money long-term trading or investing in cryptocurrencies this is the channel for you if you want to get the latest crypto news price predictions and chart analysis don't forget to subscribe to this channel let's get down to business Guys, at the point of recording this video, we're having a red day in the crypto markets today. All coins are down. Bitcoin is down 2.4% in the last 24 hours. But if we go on the weekly time frame, last week was a very great time for all coins. We saw all coins pumping to the moon. AR Wave, Chills, OKS, Albgo, Matic. If we go on the monthly time frame, all coins are having a great time. Dogecoin is still up 86% in the last one month. Bitcoin is trading over $20,000. Bitcoin got to as high as $21,300 over the weekend. How long will it take Bitcoin to break this $22,800 region? The last time we saw Bitcoin trading that high was in September 2022. We're going to face so many resistances for pumping to the upside for Bitcoin. But guys, I won't be shocked to see Bitcoin trade around $28,000, $29,000 before the end of the year. There's a huge possibility we might see Bitcoin pump maybe to as high as $29,000 before the end of 2022. But there's always that possibility that we might dump to Goblin Town. The largest altcoin in the crypto market, Ethereum, currently trading above $1,500, got to as high as $1,659 over the weekend. Ethereum has been dumping since when it set an all-time high in November last year. It's almost a year right now. Ethereum has been dumping to Goblin Town getting to as low as $900 in the process. When will the bear market be over for Ethereum and all coins? Right now, we're still deep in the crypto bear market of 2022. Extreme fear is still in the crypto market. The Crypto Fear and Greed Index is telling us that the factor of 33 fear is in the market. We got to as high as 40. I thought we'll get to neutral, but right now, we have a red day in the crypto market. New stories happening in the crypto world. Binance to liquidate its entire FTX token holding after recent revelations. Binance CEO cited recent revelations as the reason for the liquidation, noting that the sale of his token would take months to complete due to the size of the position. The CEO of the cryptocurrency exchange Binance said his company will liquidate its entire position. This story has been taken up in the crypto vast. A lot of people have been getting scared. We saw the FTS token price dump and then plop. A lot of people have been saying, as Binance is dumping, why would you want to be buying this token right now in the bear market? SBF has been a significant donor in the US midterm election. The FTX founder has reportedly spent almost $40 million, mainly supporting Democrats during the current political cycle, according to Open Secrets. And right now, he's in battle on two fronts. He's having issues with Binance CEO, two of the largest exchanges in the crypto vast. We had rumors of Binance CEO saying SBF was supporting lobbyists against Binance. FTS token price reached 30% plunge as 23 million FTT parts moved to Binance. Almeida Research reportedly obtained $2.2 billion worth of loan using FTT as collateral, a token created by the cryptocurrency exchange FTX. And we're hearing news reports that the price could plunge 30%. FTS addressed users' withdrawal complaint and missed major token movement. The exchange assured users in a series of tweets that withdrawal should be moving along with matching engines are running as they should. Though some users didn't buy it because right now they're having some problems. A lot of people are seeing similar similarities with what happened with Luna and also with what happened in Celsius. So people are getting scared and they are taking their money out of the system. The largest cryptocurrency exchange in the crypto space is taking out their money why would you want to keep your money with ftx deribit hackers moved stolen ether to tenudo cash crypto mixer the deribit hot wallet hacker has transferred 1600 ethereum over 2.5 million dollars tenudo cash according to data from ethereum block explorer it is scan 
Top 10 cryptocurrency by market capitalization is still unchanged in the last 24 hours, guys. Guys, in the top 10 cryptocurrency by market capitalization, Bitcoin is still the king of the market. BNB is up 2.31% in the last seven days. BNB is currently trading around $332. We don't have any huge movement in the top 10 already. Dogecoin is down 6.88% in the last seven days. And we have Solana down 1.46%, currently trading around 32 dollars gala token exploit is not a white hat hack that's what will global is telling us will be claimed that calling the incident a white hack move was also peace network excuse to avoid legal sanction interesting Wuhan omits NFTs from Metaverse plant amid regulatory uncertainty in China. The Chinese government has shown a keen interest in developing a Metaverse economy, but its stance on NFT hasn't been clear. To know more in top 10 most cited potential rigs, that's what the US Central Bank report is telling us. The US-China tension, the Russia-Ukraine war, higher energy prices, rising inflation, the COVID-19 pandemic, cyber attacks came out of some of the most pressing financial concerns. Finally, Crypto is not there. Maybe, just maybe, it is the best time to be getting some cryptocurrencies. It's finally not in the top 10 most cited potential rigs by the U.S. Central Bank reports. The top gainers and the top losers in the last 24 hours. In the top losers section, we have Solana down 11%, Aptos down 11%, Loopring down 10%, and we have ApeCoin down 10% in the last 24 hours. In the winner section, Polygonmatic is up 6.25%, Synthetic is up 3.89%, Dash is up 2.4%, and Casper is up 0.83% in the last 24 hours. Solana co-founder addresses the blockchain reliability at breakpoint. In 2022, the blockchain suffered from 10 partial or full outages along with slow block times. Solana co-founder says it's not the experience we want to deliver. We're looking forward to great things happening from Solana in the future. Vitalik reveals a new phrase in Ethereum roadmap, the Surge. The remaining milestone of Ethereum roadmap consists of the Surge, the Scourge, the Verge, the Purge, and the Splodge. We just had the Merge. The Merge is the first phase of a long process that will happen to Ethereum, seeing its rich full functionality in the future. An open seas launches on chain tool to enforce NFT royalties. The royalty enforcement tool only applies to new NFT collection at this stage, with a decision to be made on existing collection at a later date all coin season index is showing us we're no longer in all season right now the all coin season is saying this is not all season on the monthly time frame we're not in an all coin month on the yearly time frame we are closer to a bitcoin year be careful out there with all coins guys right now we're still deep in the crypto bear market the total crypto market is below the one trillion dollar region we have been trying to battle above the one trillion dollar region twice we have gotten rejected we got there in September, we got rejected. We tried again by the ending of October, we got above $1 trillion, but we have also gotten rejected. We might see the total crypto market cap come back to test the $775 billion region. If we're lucky, we may pump to as high as over $1 trillion before the end of the year. SEC issued subpoenas to influencers promoting Hex, Pork Chain, and Pulse X. The SEC issued the subpoena as part of the investigation We demanded the influencers in question produce required documents by November 15, 2022. Solana unveils Google Partnership Smartphone Web3 stores at breaking point. Solana Breakpoint, a four-day conference scheduled from November 4 to November 7, attracted over 13,000 people in just one of the four venues is being held simultaneously. And the Crypto Unicorn Index is telling us we have over 54 projects with a market capitalization of over a billion dollars. We had more than 135 projects at the top of the bull run. But right now, the bear market has been brought out to a lot of those altcoins. And the liquidations in the crypto market in the last 24 hours has gone up more than $148 million. A lot of traders have been liquidated. More than 83,000 traders were liquidated in the last 24 hours. And this liquidation came on Bybit when one trader was liquidated for over $1.4 million. Guys, be careful out there. We're still deep in the crypto bear market. We're having a red day in the crypto markets today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Tell me which altcoins you're accumulating right now in the bear market. Where do you see this feud between Binance and FTX going? Do you think it's going to tank the crypto market? Or are we getting ready for the pump of a lifetime? Drop your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video.